Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where hopefully we don't boss? get shot. It's good to see you, boss. Well, she took over fairly recently, apparently. And and everyone's like, yeah, she's pretty dope. <laughs> you know? I was like, they're all Turians? Oh no, that be I was like, that's all you sorry, but now there's also a, I almost said a Rex, a Krogan. Oh my gosh, just ordered a bunch of chai tea. Maybe then I can uh, stay awake. Or take a nap. Wouldn't that be nice? We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people. Did he work. just like salute back there? Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. What is, what is with that salute? Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Uh, Some kind of reaper. Excuse me. I fought them before. They're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Ooh. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Oh uh, wow! Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. She got an N7 gun? The adjutants really got under her skin. And, uh... Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, it's me. Oh, there we go. Just reported into the boss. Still no adjutants. Thank the spirits for that. Do we even be bothering with this? There hasn't been any other since that dog worker turned, right? Look, I know you're new to this outfit, but get used to the adjutant watch. It was only one of those things last time, and Cerberus still had to seal shut an entire ward to deal with it. They didn't even try to help the people trapped inside. I... I can't imagine what their last moments must have been like. Trust me, you hear any weird, creepy whispering, you grab your friends, and you run. I like that, I like that. Big fan of that plan. All right, no secrets for me. Word is the attack on the station was led by R, and then she's on board now. Boss is heading out to investigate, try to stay out of trouble while she's gone and don't get caught. Our forces are tied down right now, so rescue limited. Rescue options are limited. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Who are those people? Those look suspicious. Oh, maybe they're civilians. Okay, like those look suspicious. Excuse me. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. I like the face paint they've chosen to match hers. You've done an excellent job, Nyreen, but I'll be taking over. Oh, what? You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. I just, like, well, and this seems very stupid to take out who is obviously a very competent commanding officer away from her troops in, like, a time of, like, crisis? Like, jeez. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right. But the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? I mean, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. What are you gonna do? People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. 
They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready! Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! Uh... I don't know. That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! It does... What are you trying to do? Uh... Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Oh, got it. Oh, okay. Anyway, I feel like Nyrene could potentially make a case for... I'm looking at this really quick because it's interesting. Uh, Nyrene could make a case for being the boss of Omega um, if, 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 if... Oh, we do have to go out this way. Um, instead of Arya. And maybe Nyrene could make an honest place out of Omega. I don't know. A lot of times it's not like the necessarily like the willfully lawless criminals. That's just often all that is open to you on Omega. It's like the last stop of the galaxy, right? It's, it's the only place that many people have to go. So they become criminals. That's all they can do. So. Maybe if Nyrene made it, can I break these? Uh, if Nyrene made it, she didn't have to. Uh oh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Holy cow. Really? Ammo. Like, well, how much? How much are they expecting me to use? Oh, hey. Thanks. You're welcome. If you would, if you guys would just talk, I'd be able to rescue you more. Cause, like, I think I saw one guy over here. There might be an achievement you, for it. Maybe there used to be, but seeing as how they nerfed the achievements in the legendary edition for whatever reason. Oh, jeez. I was wondering if they were gonna slaughter her in, and they did. Come on, Arya. Ah, oh, there's a 
mech, there's a mech back there. There's, Let's talk, there's Shepard. stuff back there. The Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy no, to No, not at all. I mean, I am an honest woman. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. The tension here. Cool, different loading screens. We're almost and there. Elcor, too?! The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega's civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. Mm. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under <laughs> Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you Certainly. Things are starting to heat up Urgently, your attention, if you please. Tentative experiment. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Herod's Emporium Human. Relieved, I am grateful for Aria's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Cunningly, Cunningly. I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus... Not that armor again! Informative. The general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife. Upon taking over, I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. The couch she sat on in Mass Effect 2? Interesting. Also, that was the pink and white armor in the bag that Ashley was wearing in Mass Effect 1 that uh, Asari was wearing. Yeah! yeah! I thought we left that back in Mass Effect 1. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> it's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. Have a nice day. I do love the Alcor, they're funny. Shotgun on the blade. Nope, you don't have anything I want. Nothing fun. No jellyfish. No armor. Don't care about weapon bench. Ooh. It could change my no, I like the Cerberus armor for now. We'll keep wearing it. Are they trying to relax. I got this. Are they trying to cut in? Uh oh, okay. Yeah, things are getting hot over here indeed. Oh my gosh. Alright. I think I figured out where you are. Oh no. Rock, you need to head back. Now. You're right in the middle of a Cerberus controlled area. Rock. Answer me, please. Come on. This was. Uh, this was that lady. I remember hearing her trying to get this guy who's like her person, whoever, who gets lost very easily. Trying to get them back. Scouts are ready to go. I've blocked enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. Voice, where, where have I heard it? They have trapped in here. You're in for a surprise, all right. Oh! You're in here. Okay. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe. Oh my gosh, these guys are so freaky. 
Like, what evolutionary design keeps your teeth out like that? I know sharks are like that, but it's, like, freaky. <laughs> Why should a humanoid-shaped creature have that? I don't like it. Mm, I think that's all for me to talk to people. Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. Did I get what you need? <laughs> oh, good. Uh... Where is... Why is not... Oh, here. Okay. Assist her. Okay. Assist the mechanic. I... Uh, he's like, this is exactly what I needed. Thanks. But I didn't bring him anything. Oh, well. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's go. Talk to me, Az. I've located the source of powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. Trap! We infiltrate Strap. there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. What a... Aria, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Aria tell you? Nyrene was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust mm. you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. That's my... Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. Uh, okay. Uh, she's gonna do. She's gonna tell them stuff to put everybody uh, besides her at risk. I know. I just know it. I don't know why she's like. I want you to help me, Commander Shepard. And I'm like one of the most upright people in the galaxy. I mean, I'm good at what I do. She's not wrong. Like the ground assault stuff. Shepard, got a second? <sighs> yeah. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. You can't Tomorrow. influence me! <laughs> Aria will be joining us soon. Now may be your only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Aria. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Aria or what we once had. Oh. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. I don't know if I was supposed to figure this out already. I didn't know. Th I didn't know this. I, this was the only thing I knew from the Omega DLC. Really, was that uh, we we essentially meet up with Arya's ex girlfriend, which I think is actually brought up in one of the novels. I think. Um, but yeah. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. Yeah, uh, such an overwhelming personality like Arya's could be all-consuming, I'm sure. You seem like your own person to me. 
for all the drama between us. I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. I wonder if I can talk to Arya about this. I, cause I, I had the option to click on her and talk to her, but I just figured she'd be like, I'll talk to you in a second, so we'll see. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity that, now. That fast? We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. I mean... Uh, they were thieves and scoundrels once, and then like... What, however long ago? A couple months ago? You're like, no, we're gonna be heroes! And they're like, okay, I could see that working on some people, right? Like, again... Not everybody had a choice in picking this life, you know, it was like, you know, this or dying or begging on the streets or whatever. But, uh, and you can talk some people around by appealing to what's left of their better nature, but some people enjoy the life. And, uh, I don't really see everybody being like, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna turn over a new leaf right now in the middle of a crisis. It's gonna be great. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered. And he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. Interesting. Okay. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these, what they do to people, they could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me and haunts me. Okay, interesting. It really did get under her skin. Also, she's just stunningly gorgeous. Her whole design, like, you don't get to see, like, I, I just noticed, like, her neck is really long. Um, and I don't know... I think that is actually how Garrus's is, but his armor plate is up a little higher. Um, but I think you can see him without it sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, under certain conditions. <clears throat> and at least I think in the uh, in the art book, I think I've seen his design where it's actually like a, he has a curved long neck. And it's just an interesting design. I think it's cool. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. Ugh. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. No, we are definitely not going to do that. I appreciate it, Narvi. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. All right, I gotta go poke Arya. Turian cabals. Squad leaders are prepping their units. Ready to go in? I can almost taste it, Shepard. Once we stop the leeching of the reactor, my path to the general will be clear. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. Nah. We don't have time to waste. Is there something you yes. want to talk about? Yes! Do you think Nyrene's over whatever happened Why? between you? What? It was a long time ago. But Nyrene's the type that doesn't forget. I run roughshod over most people, and if the tracks I leave aren't deadly, they're at least permanent. As different as we are, I don't wish her ill, so long as she doesn't get in my way. What? Did I? I must have missed something. I feel really bad. I feel like I missed a whole section of this conversation where they admit that they have a thing for each other, because I... I knew that, but if I didn't know that, I'd be like, what? Like, I, th I don't think they mentioned anything. What happens when we bring the force fields down? The people revolt, chaos ensues, and we lead the Talons and my forces on a wanton path right through the General's command center and afterlife. A bloodbath. It's true. When the force fields come down, all hell breaks loose. But as far as I'm concerned, all the blood's on Petrovsky's hands. I mean, that's a convenient way to look at it. Is your hatred for the General getting the best of you? I'd say it's bringing out the <laughs> The man has turned Omega into a prison and a launch pad for Cerberus campaigns. You should hate him too. 
I, for one, can't wait to finally get my hands on it. I mean, it's definitely more personal for you than it is for me. It's, like, tactically unsound for him to be here for me. And also, like, you know, obviously, Shepard would be concerned about the people, the civilians. But it's not personal like it is for Arya. Um... But I know she's got. She's gonna do probably do something. But Nyrene and I aren't gonna like. I don't know. I won't bother you with more questions. All right. When you're ready, I'll meet you and Nyrene at the exit by the med bay. Well. Also, there's a guy who wants to get your couch back for you. Well, I think I will actually go ahead and call this one here. It's. Tiny bit short, but it's probably for the best. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rescuido, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra, extra special shout out to Adam, my forest tier patron. Nope, tree tier patron. <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted by the armor. Um, thank you so, so much, my friend for all your continued support. It really is very kind and I appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron who has gone above and beyond in his support of me. And it is incredibly wonderful and amazing and just super, super nice. So thank you so much. And thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.